standard 10 unit 1 lecture 8 here let us do some more questions of proving given number is irrational one of them is example number 11 prove that 3 root 2 is irrational here 3 is an integer and root 2 is irrational number and 3 root 2 is the product of 3 and root 2 and it is also irrational so here we will conclude also that multiplication or product of rational and irrational number is always irrational so to prove this first of all we will assume that 3 root 2 is rational suppose we say that 3 root 2 is rational if 3 root 2 is rational then we can present it as ratio of two integers which are co-prime so we can present that 3 root 2 equals to a upon b where a and b are co-prime integers co-prime it means they don't have any common factor it means co-prime okay so first of all we have assumed that 3 root 2 is rational therefore we could present it in the form of ratio of two co-prime integers now rearranging terms we will bring 3 in the left left hand side we bring it in the right hand side 3 is in multiplication with root 2 in left hand side so when we bring it in right hand side it will come in dividation with b therefore we get root 2 equals to a upon 3b now 3 a and b are integers and therefore a upon 3b is a ratio of integers and the value of ratio of two integers is, 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 is always rational therefore a upon 3b is rational and therefore it is the value of root 2 therefore we can say root 2 is also rational but it is contradictory of root 2 is irrational that we have already proved in theorem 1.4 okay so here we got that root 2 is rational but it is contradictory it is against of that statement that root 2 is irrational okay so we got this argument that root is rational but it is contracted contradictory of root 2 is irrational it means our assumption is wrong and therefore 3 root 2 is irrational we assumed that 3 root 2 as a rational but by doing so we got one contradictory argument that root 2 is rational and it is contradictory of root 2 is irrational therefore our assumption is wrong therefore we will say that 3 root 2 is irrational let us do one more question exercise 1.3 question 3 and in question 3 the sum number 2 prove that 7 root 5 is irrational can you do this question by yourself yes sure in example 11 there is root 2 and here there is root 5 in example 11 where there is 3 here in our question there is 7 okay so whatever you did with 3 in example 11 that same thing you have to do with 7 understood so here you will solve the question yourself let's prove one more example 10 5 minus root 3 is irrational in example 3 we saw that product of rational and irrational number is irrational here you are looking that sum or subtraction here 5 is rational and 3 is irrational so 5 minus 3 is subtraction of rational and irrational so value of subtraction or addition of rational and irrational is always irrational and we are here given to prove that so we'll do the same thing as we did in example 3 so first of all let us assume 5 minus root 3 is rational so now we can present it so 5 minus root 3 equals to a upon b where a and b are co-prime integers if we say 5 minus root 3 is rational then we can present it in the form of ratio of two integers okay now we'll make rearrangement of the terms so when we rearrange the terms root 3 which is minus it comes at right hand side and becomes positive plus 
and a upon b which is positive at the right hand side it comes in left hand side and become minus so here we got 5 minus a upon b equals to root 3 again let's simplify the left hand side so we get at the left hand side 5b minus a upon b equals to root 3 but here 5 a b these three terms are integers and therefore the terms which has been occurred because of the ratio of these terms 5b minus a upon b it is the ratio of integers and therefore it is rational and it is the value of root 3 therefore root 3 is also rational have you understood 5 a and b are integers therefore the term occurred because of them which is 5b minus a upon b it is the ratio of integers and therefore it is also rational and it is the value of root 3 therefore root 3 is rational but it is contradictory of root 3 is irrational and therefore our assumption is wrong and therefore 5 minus root 3 is irrational have you understood let's take one more example and that is question number 3 in exercise 1.3 and in question number 3 the sum number 3 prove 6 plus root 2 is irrational we do the same thing as we did in example number 10 first of all let us assume let us assume 6 plus 2 is irrational sorry 6 plus 2 is rational therefore we can present it 6 plus root 2 is equals to a upon b where a and b are co prime integer now rearrange the terms bring 6 in the right hand side so it will come in subtraction relation okay so here it is said rearrange now making simplification at the right hand side b will be multiplied with 6 and b comes in denominator so we get a minus 6b upon b now here 6 a b are integers and therefore the term occurred because of them a minus 6b upon b is also rational and so it is the value of root 2 therefore so is root 2 it means root 2 is also rational but it is contradictory of root 2 is irrational and therefore our assumption is wrong and therefore the given term is rational sorry the given term is irrational so we proved 6 plus root 2 is irrational let us do one more question question 2 in exercise 1.3 prove 3 plus 2 root 5 is irrational to answer the question first of all let us assume 3 plus 2 root 5 is rational and therefore we can present 3 plus 2 root 5 as a ratio of two integers a and b where a and b are co prime integers it means they don't have any common factor okay now rearranging the terms we get 2 root 5 equals to a upon b minus 3 what we did here we brought 3 from the left hand side we brought it in right hand side by simplification of the term we got 2 root 5 equals to a minus 3b upon b little more simplification and we get root 5 equals to a minus 3b upon 2b 2 is in multiplication at left hand side so when we bring it in right hand side it comes in denominator with b so here we got root 5 a minus 3b upon 2b okay now as 2 3 a and b are integers therefore the term occurred because of them a minus 3b upon 2b it is also rational because 2 3 a b are integers and the ratio of integers is always rational therefore a minus 3b upon 2b is rational and so is it is the value of root 5 therefore so is root 5 root 5 is also rational but it is contradictory of root 5 is irrational and therefore we can say our assumption is wrong and it means 3 plus 2 root 5 is irrational okay now let us solve 
वन मोर लास्ट क्वेश्चन एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट थ्री क्वेश्चन थ्री एंड सम नंबर वन प्रूव दैट वन अपॉन रूट टू इज इेशनल सो वॉट एवर वी डीड इन द लास्ट क्वेश्चन दैट सेम थिंग विल डू हियर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल एज्यूम दैट वन अपॉन रूट टू इज रैशनल एंड इफ वन अपॉन रूट टू इज रैशनल दैन वी कैन प्रेजेंट इट एज द रेशियो ऑफ टू प्रो प्राइम इन टीचर्स इट मीन्स वन अपॉन रूट टू इक्वल्स टू ए अपॉन बी नाउ टू सिंप्लीफाई द टर्म by the properties of multiplication we can multiply 2 at both of the side so i have multiplied 2 at both of the side now 2 is 2 is square of root 2 root 2 into root 2 it gives us 2 therefore i will write root 2 into root 2 at the place of 2 and now the common factors will be crossed and will get here root 2 equals to 2a upon b now 2a and b are integers therefore 2a upon b is rational and so is root 2 and this statement is contradictory of root 2 is irrational therefore our assumption is wrong and therefore we can say that root 1 upon root 2 is irrational so here we have proved that inverse of irrational number is also irrational okay now we'll go ahead and learn some new things in next sessions up to then revise and prepare because end of the first chapter will take test